The night was in many ways defined by Hoover police shooting and killing E.J. Bradford, who they mistakenly identified as the shooter. Protests and investigations by the attorney general's office in Alabama followed. But tonight, for the first time, you're going to hear from the 12 year old girl who was caught in the crossfire that night. She shares with me how she narrowly escaped death and what she would say to the man the state says started the whole thing. Molly Davis was right where she wanted to be. I was very focused on trying to get gifts for everybody um, because I love giving gifts. You see, her favorite Thanksgiving traditions always came after the meal. I've always loved shopping and it was always something that me and my grandmother did together. We would usually start on Thanksgiving night um, and then, you know, shop all night and um, then we would shop on Black Friday as well. It was no different in 2018 when she joined her grandmother and sister at Alabama's largest indoor mall. I would say it was probably more packed than usual. Mm -hmm. um, it was pretty hectic. Everybody was, um, you know, kind of being crazy. <laughs> um, but that's kind of expected. Nobody expected what happened next. Davis and her family were walking out of the J.C. Penney's when it happened. We saw some people like kind of gathered um, and they started arguing. So we figured like something was about to happen. So we tried to, you know, start walking faster. Um, and then it all just kind of happened. That's Molly running with her sister and grandmother into the back of a footlocker for cover. We just kind of sat in the back and I was like, my back kind of hurts. Molly's sister was the first one to figure out what happened. She kind of turned me over and looked and she started freaking out and I still didn't know what was happening. Um, and then she was trying to call 911, but everybody was trying to call 911, so the line was busy. <laughs> Chaos descended upon the mall as people ran for cover. Police raced to the scene and other shoppers helped treat Molly until paramedics got there. All the guys came up and they were getting me on a gurney and everything. And I was not very happy with them because they were, I was wearing my favorite shirt and they were trying to cut my shirt off. Were you scared at all? Not really, because I don't think, I didn't really know what was happening. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't, I didn't really process what had happened until after my surgery and everything. The bullet which struck Molly was lodged a millimeter from her spine. It's still there today. Just a slight change in trajectory and she could have been paralyzed or even killed. What we do know is after the exchange of gunfire between those two individuals, the person that shot the 18 year old was fleeing the area when he was confronted by two Hoover officers who were in uniform. We would later learn E.J. Bradford, the man police shot and killed that night, wasn't the shooter. Protests, national headlines followed. What do we want? Justice! What do we want it? Now! The state cleared the officer who shot Bradford. Ron Brown would later be arrested and charged with assault. He was sentenced to three years in prison as part of a plea deal. How do you feel about what happened, Molly? I mean, you were just there shopping. Yeah. Uh, were you angry? Mm-mm. Um, I just, it wasn't targeted at me, so I don't really blame him for it. It was an accident, so um, I don't think there's a reason to be mad about it. While everyone she knows remembers. Yeah, I was known as the girl who got shot for a couple months around the school. Um, still am. She chooses not to let that night change her. She was back at the Galleria shopping the very next year. The first time it was kind of weird, but like I was happy to be there because everybody was like, why would you go back there? Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know, I like shopping. Turns out Molly also likes school. She's gonna graduate Shelby County High School a year early and plans to enroll at Auburn University where she'll study to become a veterinarian.